on the last episode of Baby Girl TV. <laughs> and we're back. Welcome back to the 85 South Show, America's favorite black-owned podcast talk show, comedy show, radio station, hotel, casino, resort, <laughs> and therapeutic office. And we are in here today with the very lovely, the very special, the illustrious. The illustrious. Ooh. What does illustrious mean? Mm -hmm. Good. You keep licking your tongue out at me, I'm going to show you. Good. <laughs> Baby girl. 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 I'm on Baby Girl TV. Shout out to my girl for having me on. I am Connor Morgan. People know me as Morgan, as Connor, as Mix Morgan. I'm based in LA, born and raised in the Bay Area. I work on private jets, but I actually just recently launched my own company. Um, I'm a herbalist. I'm into holistic health and healing. So I launched my Bare Root Remedy. I have everything under the sun from natural holistic skincare products to dietary supplements to liquid tinctures to herbal sea moss. Get yours, bearrootremedy.com. That was a little plug. <laughs> and yeah, stay tuned. It's fully launching in fall, but I have like a few products out here and there. So 
First off, if y'all don't know, B is an Aries, okay? She's also a preacher's daughter. I'm an Aries and I'm a preacher's daughter. So it was like twin flame. Like, we're both hopeless romantics. And we're both hopeless romantics and live in cities where hopeless romantics don't really get love. So anyways, it was like a instant, like we just became so connected. She's also super driven and outgoing and I'm the same way. So it was like two peas in a pot, literally. So shout out to Candace, our girl, love that we made that connection. And I've known B now for, I don't know, some years, a couple years, I don't know, but yeah. If I could describe B in one word, I would say, I would say passionate. I was gonna say crazy, but she's not crazy. She's just loud, but passionate would be my word. Anything that she puts her name on, that she puts her head and mind, soul into, she's passionate about. She's not gonna take part on anything that doesn't reside with her soul. So I think another reason why I love her and why I'm so drawn to her, cause I'm the same way. She's passionate about everything and she freaking kicks ass. So. I think we're about to like Netflix it up. Did she tell y'all about her business and what she does? I did. And her brand and what she's about to start selling? Sure did. But wait, actually, let me go back. I need to add something. So I told y'all about Bare Root Remedy. One thing, again, and how it's so pertaining to be is that when I first thought about starting this company, first off, it was in front of me all along. I feel like most of us, our callings are right in front of us, like our purpose, what we're supposed to be doing with our lives. Um, but we, we miss it because everything's moving so fast and it's so loud. But when quarantine happened and we all literally and physically had to stop, like God said stop and the world stopped. So when we stopped, it was like, okay, I'm not working. Like, what am I gonna do? And it was, it like clicked. What I love to do in my free time is I'm always, I'm in Whole Foods, I'm researching the herb aisle, I'm reading herb books. I'm, it, my calling was right in front of me. You know, anytime any of my friends have anything going on with their bodies, they call me like, yo, con, what can I take for this? So when this all happened, I'm like, I'm gonna start my own line. B and our friend Jackie were the two people I called. I was like, I wanna start a line. This is what I'm passionate about. What do I do? Where do I start? And they directed me, okay, this is what you should do. They both gave me their ways and then I, you know, remixed it a little bit and did what worked best for me. But it was crazy because B and Jackie were the two people I called. And now here I am with a business later. So the rest of today, I think B and I are just gonna chill. We had a really busy morning. We worked out, we went and got some vegan food, we got a juice. Um, so now we're just gonna chill, watch Netflix, and enjoy each other's company since I'm leaving back to LA soon. So thank you, B, for having me on. Baby Girl TV to Girl Connor Morgan. And uh, who knows what you'll see with B and I coming soon in the future. You, are you know so what I mean? Natural. You know, my, look, my family thought I was gonna be an actress because I'm so damn dramatic. <laughs> Literally. I am so nervous. Okay. I'm like, you want She's me to like, go, I'm about to be on baby You want me to go on like this? Like with my skin on Do you see how I be on baby TV? Mask, robe, no makeup, hair mess. They need the real, the raw, the uncut. Cause y'all see the glamour every day. Okay, yeah, for sure. They need this. You're beautiful. They need this. Thanks, friend. Oh yeah, she's a I've known her for years. Well, probably like going on. I think going on three, three or years. Four. Time's flying, it's kind of scary. Wait, so how did we first meet? Like the very first Yeah, that's what I'm trying to think. We met through Candace though, right? It was right? Candace. Was it at like a group dinner? I don't know, I gotta ask her. Gotta yeah, ask her. but it was through Candace. So it's like, you know, shout out to Candace for sure. Uh, yeah, I'm bringing this lovely lady into my life. She motivates me. I'm gonna put her Instagram. Y'all go follow her for motivation and body Not goals. You. It's annoying. You can't really see because I'm in sweats right now, but don't let it fool you. Oh, okay. Baby care will be working, okay? Oh man. I need a snack. I'm gonna be already hungry again. <laughs> snack, please. <laughs> I know, seriously. What kind of booty do you like to watch? Where's your spot like on the couch so I don't sit on it? Girl, I hate when people be trying to take my spot when they come to my house. I'm like, look. We ate two hours ago. We left at 11. We got back at 4. Is it ready or no? No. A snack. Should we have like popcorn? Do you have popcorn? <laughs> Maybe some crackers, <laughs> vegetables at this point, <laughs> anything. Let's see what's in there. I think we do have popcorn. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, you do. Have, well, let me see the ingredients. Oh. It might be dairy, milk. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> <Fish>. <laughs> 
Pissed. Well, that's that. I found your oh, face thing under the couch. Is you it my nose? Yeah, but let me. See. Nope. I hate life. It's like, what can I really eat? Goldfish. Dairy. I know. Nutella. So. Jiffy? Yes, I could have that, but what could I have? With it. You guys, this everything in here has dairy. I'm so sad. It's okay. It just means I don't need to eat any of this. That's what I'm getting from all this. Ooh, wait. What about this? What? What's that? Bread. A piece of bread? With a PBJ. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> yes, I can eat this. Only it contains wheat and soy. <laughs> a PBJ. Yeah. Look. I definitely eat that. I can't eat gluten. Oh yeah, you'll get tired. I mean, I'm not supposed to, but it's either gluten or dairy. I'ma choose gluten. No, I thought that was. Sam? Yeah. yeah. You guys have jelly in the fridge? We have uh, Nutella. I have grape jelly. Oh, perfect. Grape jelly for a PBJ. It's up there. How am I supposed to have a PBJ? It's not here. It's up here. PBJ. A PBJ. PBJ. I wish I could. Nope. No. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> but I wish I could. Chris was on that on my side yesterday on accident, supposedly. Oh, yeah, it hurts so bad. Yeah, this is fire. Why is it still on though? It's still on. It's not on one, Braylon. Wow, sister down. She doesn't know. I really shouldn't eat the rice, but it's I know that's rice. gluten. Talking about you can't eat a PBJ. That's what you do. those crackers. When you really start looking at ingredients, there will be dairy and gluten in almost everything that and you don't even know. You wouldn't even know. And so when I like help people clean their diets up. Because what I didn't mention is I'm also a nutritionist. Girl, like, they're literally like, oh my God, I ate this. I had no idea but there the was gluten But the thing is, once it. you know and you get stuff that you can't, that doesn't have it in it, it's not even taste different. I know. It still tastes good. You right. just have to choose to get that And stuff. the change that you see, people are like, oh instant. my God, instant. Skin, face, energy, everything. It's wild. All right, no more gluten after the day. Hopefully. Oh, yay. Thank you. But these do have gluten in them too, that's why. They this do? is wheat and soy. Anything that has wheat is gluten. So it, it's not gonna say gluten. It will never say gluten, unless it says gluten free. But how you'll know something has gluten is if it's a wheat, a byproduct of wheat. So if it has wheat in it, then you know it's not gluten free. So girl, imagine me when I'm like strict on my stuff and I'm not doing dairy or gluten. You can't eat that. I'm literally buying fruits and veggies. That's the safe way, fruits and veggies, buy whole foods, you know? Thanks for making the meat separate because I know you didn't want to do that. Yep, sure. Hot. Blow it. <laughs> Are you boiling it? <laughs> it Deep fried? Shut up. It didn't simmer. It didn't simmer. It was cooking for like an hour and a half. Really? Yeah. That's the best way. Slow cooking gets one flavor. What kind of rice is this? Wild rice? Yeah. Right. Do you like it? Really You're not a picky eater, though. Mm-mm. Me I'm not picky, but I am. I'm picky when it comes to as often as I have But I'm saying taste. Exactly. Picky. Yeah, taste I'm not picky, but if it has gluten or dairy, I'm like, mm. I pick and choose. Gluten mm -hmm. I cheat with every blue moon. Dairy on every. Really? All like right out of the house yeah. on my face. Mm. I'm like highly allergic That's why my skin is like this, because of dairy. If you committed, and I would say went like two months with really looking at everything you eat and did no dairy or gluten, I'm telling you, your skin would, you would okay, be like, Okay, can you oh make me God. a meal plan and tell me yeah, what to buy? Of course, I okay. got you. I'm gonna try that. It's literally a game changer. Quarantine was the best time to try to stick to something. Yeah. you had no choice but to sit down. Mm-hmm. You did good, Jay. I'm gonna open up a food truck? Yeah. Yeah, you should. She loves cooking. I wish I loved it. Yeah. What I notice is I can cook. I know how to cook. But you just do it for diet. I do it, reasons. exactly. If people to. come over, mm -hmm. if I have company, I'll throw down. Like I had my boys over the other day and I made them uh, banana nut pancakes. I did a egg scramble. I did uh, hot links. I had a whole breakfast thing and they were like, I never knew you could cook like this because you're so healthy. I just choose not to cook. You don't like this. Like, yeah, because what am I going to do? I'm not going to eat none of this after. Like, yeah, yeah. So it's not fun for me. But if I can, I will. I heard as of yesterday, Atlanta was closed. I heard. Girl, no, we went outside. No. Everything looked open. Really? Everything. Everything. The malls, the nail shops, no the foods, gyms. Packed. We just went and sat outside at Flower Child, ate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Went to a juice bar. <clears throat> yeah, the mall is packed. Packed? Look at Lennox Mall. Wow. Packed. Not a parking space in sight. 
This is good, Jay. Thank you. Literally, so good. This was like last night. I freaking had three bowls of Jackie's beans. Three. <laughs> I'm like, she just puts all these beans. She does like something in pot. with some oh, type of seasoning. Like it's like her it's called like her secret beans. Incredible. Really? She brought me a crock pot for Christmas. She's like, you always say you like my beans. I was like, I don't want to make them. <laughs> I just want to come over and eat them. I want you to make them. They look good. What seasoning do you use? I feel like everything in the cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Hey. What's going on? Baby World TV. Even though my baby boys be watching it too, but ladies first. I'm back, y'all. I'm on live. So y'all better not say nothing crazy that y'all don't want live to know. Don't say nothing crazy on live right now. Okay, because I know how y'all get. I'm doing my makeup. I got to do content for Savage Fenty. So Chris is doing my makeup so I can get these pictures up for Riri. Cause I cannot have the queen waiting. I can't have Rihanna waiting. So you a billionaire yet? No, I'm far, okay? I got about 99, 997 <laughs> more million to go. That's a lot of millions. Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm, like, oh. I'm like, shit. <laughs> So yeah, we're about to shoot Savage Fenty content. Chris is doing my makeup. Anybody that knows me knows I hate what? Makeup. You know, I really hate what? Eyeshadow. I have on both. I don't like makeup on my face. I'm trying to clear my skin because in a couple years, I'm about to Alicia Keys, y'all. I totally understand why she did that. She was on the cover of a magazine makeup list. <laughs> Phenomenal. Love it. <laughs> Looks great. Skin glowing, hair slicked. Ooh, I wish I could just wear makeup and oversized clothes every day. Unless I was shaped like Tiana Taylor, I would be naked every day. Girl. Like, y'all don't see these abs. Get off my floor, Jay. Dang, I know it's down here. <laughs> She's like, damn, look at all this. People send stuff to my P.O. box all the time, y'all, and I try to shout them out. A lot of black businesses I've been trying to support. I've always supported black businesses, but like intentionally doing it lately because of the climate of the world change and really, you know, being intentional, buying black, spending your dollar in the black community, supporting black businesses. So yeah, it feels good. Especially, especially when the packaging, the product is good and I will actually use it. I get so excited about it. Y'all send me all these body oils and lotions and eyelashes. I'm like, yo, this packaging is so creative or you can tell they put a lot into it. There's some package down there a girl sent me, I think some makeup and her face is on the bottle and it was just so, so dope. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I need to shout out down there, but I'm gonna do, I do it on my story, y'all. I don't put it on my page. I don't do it on live. I do it on my story so I can actually ta tag the businesses and y'all can click their pages. So I've been doing that a lot lately, going to my PO box and doing an opening on my story, so. The year anniversary for Be Simone Beauty is September 15th. <laughs> ah, y'all, that's crazy. It'll be a year in two months. I can't believe it. Stop it, I'm gonna cry. I remember when my goal in last November was $100,000 for the month. And then in April, we had a million dollar month. We did a million dollars in 30 days in April. So if we can do a million dollar month, we can do a $2 million month. If we can do a $2 million month, we can do a $5 million month. If we can do a $5 million month, we can do a $10 million month, which means we can be a $100 million brand, which means if you can make $100 million, you can make a billion dollars. For sure. Because all you have to do is make $100 million 10 times. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you got to think. You have to like really believe that shit. and I believe it. I was on the phone with my financial advisor and my lawyer today. Like be Simone Beauty will be a billion dollar brand. <laughs> and I believed it so much. You I had know. no doubt in my mind. If Amazon did it in 26 years, I can do it in, I can do it in 30 years. Uh, I don't want to be a 60 year old billionaire. When did the Amazon make its first million? Have you looked at that? It's first million? Yeah. No, but it's been around for 26 years. Like if you made your first million, what, in like a year? Yeah, I made my first million in six months. Great. With my business. So what if Amazon made their first million in two years and you're already ahead? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I say God's time, everything is God's time. Everything is God's time. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, that's it. I'm trying to see what's on your lid. <laughs> All right, I'm about to go, y'all. Love you guys. 
Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all see how she treats me? Evil. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I hate it. Oh, heartbroken. You look so beautiful. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Y'all see how she treated me the whole time I'm doing her makeup? She's like, what are you doing? What is this? What's this? Okay, I like it. <laughs> I just gotta make sure. Jordan, you look so, so beautiful. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're gorgeous. You. Beautiful girl. What you got? Uh, it looks like I don't make up no like, look at, It looks like you have on them, but you If you do not have this little like beauty this. on your lips. It is, actually. It's a new color that I used. The liner is called Forever Young, and I do not know the name of the gloss. It's the pink gloss with the shimmer. Oh, now or never. Now or never. Mm. It's so cute. I it topped it off a little. little not topped it off. With a little pinkish clear. It's like a no makeup, no makeup look. I like you. I tried to use less makeup this time. I really did. It looks like you have on them, but it's like, I would question it. I'm like, does she have a makeup or not? I swear I would. This is really good. I'm sorry, you do. I'm not lying. I think you're telling a fib. I don't lie. I would've been like, mm. if I was lying, and I would, it would look like something, I'm like, mm, that's okay. Really? I'm very honest. Your you? lips look so good. They you do. want to get lip injections. She made, I already want to get I want to go to her girl. Should I get my top lip right here? You can. I mean, I feel like, I like <laughs> my bottom lip to look bigger. I feel like if you, so cause I want to get my lips high overdrawn. My lips kind of go down, so I want the, Y'all are brainwashing me. Sorry. Yeah. All right. No, you said it. I, I know. Said you I, don't, I don't. 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 I do it because you want to do it, not because society makes you feel like you need it. You know what I'm saying?